thank you, Justin, for the uh, nice introduction. Uh, it is my absolute pleasure to be here as part of the India Inclusion Summit uh, 2020. And my thanks to my friend uh, Feroz for this opportunity. R2D2 stands for Rehabilitation Research and Device Development. So I head uh, that center uh, at IIT Madras. And today I'd like to share with you the work that we are doing on technology for inclusion. If you look at the landscape of assistive devices uh, in India and abroad, on the one hand, you have very primitive technologies, but they're very low cost. And that's typically what is available to most people in India. At the other end of the spectrum, you have very high tech devices. Many of them have not even made the transition from the lab to the market. And even if they are available, they are extremely expensive and uh, very few people can afford them. Uh, so as a result, they are also not that easily accessible to people with disabilities. So there really is a big space in the middle, uh, uh, many challenges where we can try to create more functional devices which are still affordable. And that is the space that we work in. Even when you have the right technology, even when you have the appropriate assistive device, there are challenges to making an impact. Affordability is number one, because many people disadvantaged once they have a disability. And so the economics of the device play a large part in whether they have, uh, they're able to get one. Awareness is also lacking. Um, many people don't know what is the right kind of assistive device for them, um, how to get it. Uh, fit properly so that they can make the most of it. So these are challenges in awareness. Access, how do you make these assistive devices available to everyone who needs them? That's another mm -hmm. challenge. And ultimately, acceptance of the device by the user uh, is absolutely essential for them to be able to make the most of it and for them to become contributing members of uh, society. And here in this slide, I use um, glasses, eyeglasses, because we forget, we tend to forget that eyeglasses are also an assistive device. And yet they are so accepted, uh, they are easy to uh, access by and large. And, you know, nobody would say a one size fits all for uh, eyeglasses. We know that it has to be customized to us. So there are lots of aspects of fitting eyeglasses that actually apply to all assistive uh, devices. And as far as acceptance, I mean, eyeglasses are considered a style statement, uh, not just an assistive device. So how do we do this with all assistive devices? To address affordability at R2D2, we use what is known as the grid collaboration model. Uh, we have four pillars of this model. G stands for the grant, which either comes from government uh, or private CSR funding or foundations which fund the research that we do. And they have a genuine interest to create social impact. R is the nodal research institution like ours, where we are focused on development, you know, scientific with a scientific basis, with a focus on the function, not the bottom line. And I stands for industry partners. They could be established industries which are willing to work with us, or it could be a startup. Again, they have an incentive to work in this model because a lot of their R&D costs are covered by the grant giving agency and the research institutions resources. D stands for the dissemination partners who are critical across the entire development cycle uh, for uh, they provide us the feedback from the early stages of the device development to ensure that the final product that we come up with is something that the users really want. These are also partners who will help us reach out to users after the device is developed to ensure market penetration. Our first success story with the grid model has been the Arise standing wheelchair. In For the development of Arise, the Welcome Trust provided the grant. Phoenix Medical Systems in Chennai was our industry partner. Uh, and R2D2 brought 
all these partners together. For dissemination, we had individual users, uh, rehab centers, hospitals like CMC Vellore, the Association for People with Disability, Spinal Foundation, Amar Seva Sangam, a number of player partners, dissemination partners who help with the development of this device. I'll now play a video of Arise, which will tell you a little bit more about how the device works. So Arise is a wheelchair with an integrated standing mechanism. It was developed to um, address the problems associated with prolonged sitting for wheelchair users. Uh, after about five years of development, it was la launched last November, um, in November 2019, uh, with our industry partner, Phoenix Medical Systems. And it's a wheelchair that enables the person to shift from the sitting to the standing position by themselves with their own effort without any external support. It enables them to be more functional, and it's also suitable for outdoor use and on uneven terrains. Uh, so the idea is to improve not just uh, the functionality, but also the uh, psychological uh, aspect, uh, the benefits of standing provide those to wheelchair users. One of the most moving moments, the usage of Arise, was during the launch when we played the national anthem and the Arise uh, wheelchair users were also able to stand for the national anthem. And it was very emotional for them as well and for all of us, because for many of them, it was the first time they were able to stand for the national anthem after their injury, some of them after many years. Typically, when we think of a wheelchair, we think one size fits all. But just like the eyeglasses I mentioned, that is so not true. So we have a startup from our lab incubated at IIT Madras called Neomotion that has addressed this problem. So they have created these two products, Neofly and Neobolt. Neofly is a fully personalized wheelchair that is prescribed after taking into account the person's health, lifestyle, and needs, environment. And Neobolt, is a very unique add-on that uh, it's a motorized add-on that converts this wheelchair into an outdoor mobility device. So it eliminates the need to transfer to another uh, device in order to go outdoors. And I let the video uh, speak for itself. In 2011, I was falling down from my body and my body was paralyzed. इस बिल्चर प्रयोग करने के बाद आसानी से हम कहीं भी जा सकते हैं आ सकते हैं हम लगभग एक चाल से काम कर रहे हैं इस प्रोजेक्ट पे। It's the best India designed wheelchair that I've sat on in 27 years. पहले हम बिल्चर से हम जो मराठन करते थे उसमें बहुत ज़्यादा समय लगता था। इस बिल्चर के प्रयोग करने के बाद टाइमिंग है वो बहुत कम हो गया। एक गाड़ी आती है जो कि इस बिल्चर में आसानी से हम सेट कर सकते हैं और गाड़ी सेट करने के बाद हम आसानी से बाहर जा सकते हैं कम स्पेस में जा सकते हैं और कहीं भी पार्किंग कर सकते हैं और समय का बचत हो सकता है क्योंकि अगर हम ओनली बिल्चर यूज करते हैं तो हमारी समय ज़्यादा लग सकता है बट वो गाड़ी जब सेट करने के बाद आसानी से हम जा सकते हैं एक स्थान से दूसरे स्थान और जो कि उसमें पूरा स्ट्रॉन्ग है मजबूत है गाँव में चला सकते हैं अगर गड्ढे ऊंचे नीचे हैं तो आसानी से चला सकते हैं अभी हमको कोई डर नहीं है हम कहीं भी जा सकते हैं This was also developed uh, using the grid model. For this uh, project, we had funding from the government, from the Imprint India program. Subsequently, we've had uh, CSR funding from HDFC and now the Tata Group. Again, you know, the development and uh, the success of this product really depends on our dissemination partners, the involvement of the users from the early stages of uh, development. User-centric design, is the first step towards acceptance. When users are involved in the design, the designers have a better idea of what they really want. And through that, we are able to build products that make the users feel good about using the product. When it looks good, when it's of good quality, when it is functional, then it enables better access to education, to employment, to societal participation. And when users see that their needs are being met, the chances of acceptance are so much greater. And that is what we need to aim for. Uh, empowerment comes from the acceptance of the device so that you reduce the stigma that's associated with using the device and instead focus on 
how it enables the user to be productive member of society. So that is the vision of R2D2. Our goal is to work with all our partners. We have partnerships with various NGOs, medical institutions, rehab centers, uh, other academic institutions. We hope more industries come forward to partner with us to take our devices to market. We hope more startups come forward and uh, uh, take some of these assistive devices to the market. Uh, and we are very grateful for all the support we have received in the form of grants from various sources for whom the impact has been what mattered. And we are very grateful uh, to all of them for enabling us to do our work. And with these partnerships, we really hope to change the assistive device landscape in India to enable inclusion uh, through technology. Thank you for your time.